Today, the U.S. win this one 3 0. Obviously, great to see Lynn Williams getting on the score sheet, not once, but twice. So, a big night for her. But, Charlie, overall, what was your, what was your takeaway from this performance? The first time we're seeing them since the, the World Cup. Not much to take from it. Yeah. Um, the second half was, was tough because all the goals were scored in the first half. But and it was terms, a flurry. They came in what, nine minutes? Yeah. In terms of, of patterns of play and movement and dynam dynamism, you weren't you weren't uh, wowed, and so you, you're still waiting for. What did you expect without a coach? Exactly. So you're waiting, for, you're waiting for a you're waiting for a head coach hey, to come they in. They coached and, themselves for the last game of the uh, of the World Cup, anyway. Uh, but yeah, Re I, reportedly, I, reportedly, <laughs> as per the players. But I agree with you. I mean, there's, I but I feel still it's a step in the right direction. It didn't feel as stagnant as it did during the uh, Women's World Cup. So at least that's a step in the right direction. And, and these games are tough because it's more of a it's a celebration. Right, mm -hmm. it's you're, you're honoring Julie Ertz, and that's what the game is really about. And I mean, Katlana for S South Africa had tons of chances running in behind. Just she wasn't clinical, and, and some of her teammates just weren't on the same page. So um, it's more about Julie Ertz in this match as opposed to where the and US where we team are. is. Right, um, Lindsay Horan. Want to make a nice little mention for her? She's so important to the setup. Without Lindsay Horan, it's very different. She understands the game very well. She knows how to combine. She has skill to be creative. I, I feel like with a bunch of new players, she doesn't get the flowers she probably deserves. Or am I being crazy? Uh, she's so important to the setup. I don't know if people are like over their heads like, you know, Sophia Smith I before the just, World Cup. She's it was just like, one of those players that is so well, consistently good score. that, right. yeah, you know, I feel like she she's gotten her flowers like you just kind of have come to rely on her because right. she's because she is that good and she's just such a no, I, she does I, all the little I, things. I don't think we should take it for granted no and that's you know what good reminder Nico yeah I love that I, I don't think anyone takes her for granted I just don't when you when you say is anyone talking about her well the, who who usually gets all the talk it's the goal scorers and yeah. people who are electric and yeah. Sophia Smith was the MVP of yeah. the league for NWSL so of course she's gonna get the hype so quickly, Chuck, I want to ask about uh, Trinity Rodman as well. She mm -hmm. had a goal in this one for a player. I don't think she had the best World Cup, um, and I think she would probably say that if she was here. For her, how, how good is it just from a confidence standpoint? I know this is a friendly and you're not really playing for anything, but for a young player like Trinity who has been tabbed to be this sort of next star on the U.S. side, how big is that goal for her getting on the score sheet? Whenever you put on the shirt, it's, it's an opportunity. It's a moment for Trinity Robin to, to come out there and wow the crowd and continue to grow as a player. So, yes, a goal does a loads for her confidence. But I, I'm curious to see what happens next for her with this, whoever the next head coach is, what the plan is. Yep. Mm -hmm. is, she a, is she eventually going to be a striker? Are they going to play with two strikers? Because they can, given... The, the amount of talent they have with Lynn Williams, with Sophia Smith, and with her, Trinity Rodman, you, you, you could play with two strikers, you could, you could move her central, you could play her as a right winger or a left winger. So it, it'll be interesting to see if what the setup looks like. The tactics. new manager is going to have a massive responsibility because we see these women week in, week out, and the talent that they have and the potential that they have. But with the women's national team, just like... A, a, a Germany in the men's game, a France in the men's game, where do you prove yourself a at the World Cup? W we here in this region don't even have, if you win the CONCACAF, it's, 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 that doesn't make you a legend. Mm -hmm. Olympics and World Cup for the women's national team for the United States is what cements you to that status. And now, Trinity Rodman, Sophia Smith, the, the new generation of players has got to wait for a World Cup, another four-year cycle you got the to Olympics. have the opportunity, and then you have the Olympics in between, right? That's why they're so significant. I mean, the, so, the Euros also. That's the, the responsibility of the new manager. Huge. That's a big, Massive, big yeah. advantage for, for the European teams because the Euros is becoming wildly yeah. important for the women's side. But also, I'd love to see 
maybe we should all do it, but I'd also specifically love to see what formation you would pick and what your 11 would be for this team. Because when you think about talent, but we think it feels like we're in a generational shift now for this women's national team, especially after the failure of the last World Cup. It feels like new blood is needed. I would love to see exactly the best way to, to sort of put this team together. Ooh, hmm. fun segment idea. Yeah. Guess I who like played we'll yesterday? Put a pin in it. Ashley Sanchez. Hey! Finally. <laughs> she plays on the women's national team? Yeah, oh, you I would know. Be, man. Coming on as a sub, I would be the, me so motivated. Per personally, I you don't know how I see fire in that like, belly. Nico? You want to see my not even more and just just angry. That yeah. You want to see my impression of Vlaco? Who's that? That's Vlaco <laughs> seeing Ashley Sanchez on the pitch. <laughs> Good one. Oh no, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen her before. Who's that? <laughs> oh no, oh, no. <laughs> he did it. He did.